We understand how important your iPhone is to you. Sometimes, if your iPhone touch screen not working and have no idea, you could be frustrated. But no worries, in this video, we'll explore some solutions for you to fix your iPhone touch screen. Grab your iPhone and let's dive into the world of touch screen problem solving. It's essential to determine the underlying causes of the iPhone screen not working issue before we look at the possible solutions for fixing your unresponsive iPhone screen. Sadly, Apple has not yet addressed this concern, but we've done our homework and have compiled a list of possible primary reasons for the situation. The first is physical damage. The second is freezing and conflict of apps. The third is the malfunctioning digitizer. The fourth is software bugs in iOS. The fifth is a greasy surface. The first tip is to force restart iPhone. Swiftly press and release the volume up and down buttons in succession. Then, press and hold the power slash side button till the Apple logo appears on the screen. The second tip is to uninstall problematic apps. Apple maintains a strict iOS and App Store to shield its customers from unreliable programs. To fulfill Apple's security and performance standards, all programs in the App Store have undergone meticulous inspection. Therefore, downloading malicious applications from the Apple App Store is impossible. Third-party apps are frequently the source of malfunctioning apps, so if you recently installed one, consider uninstalling it to see if that resolves your iPhone screen problem. Hold the delete key while long pressing the desired app to remove it from your device permanently. The third tip is to adjust touch screen sensitivity settings. Go to general to select accessibility and settings after opening it. Go to touch option and accessibility. Choose the 3D and haptics option under touch settings. To change the amount of pressure needed to activate 3D Touch, tap it and move the slider. Turn off the 3D Touch and give it another go if the problem is still there. The fourth tip is to remove screen protector. Many iPhone owners use screen protectors to guard the device's display from serious harm in the case of a drop. However, if your screen protector separates from the screen, the portion of the screen that has been affected is no longer touch sensitive, making it difficult for you to use your iPhone. Considering the situation, you can remove it or change to a new one. The fifth tip is to update iPhone to the latest version. Apple often releases software upgrades to improve the functionality and smooth operation of Apple devices. As a result, you will likely have iOS-related problems, including slowdowns, uncooperative apps, and screens if you use an outdated piece of software. In this regard, repairing software flaws and the issues they cause may be significantly helped by updating your system software. Go to Settings to tap on General. Select Software Update to update iPhone to the latest version. We'll recommend AnyFix to you to fix iOS system issues. Download and run AnyFix on your PC or Mac. Choose the system repair mode. Choose iPhone problems and click start now. Here are three repair modes for you to choose from. You can choose according to your iPhone state. For iPhone won't turn on issue. If the standard repair mode not working, you can try the advanced repair mode or the ultimate repair mode. Then you will need to download firmware for your iPhone. After the firmware is downloaded, click on fix now. Any fix will start fixing your iPhone system issue. Please be patient. In the last tip, we will provide a solution for you to fix hardware issues. Launch the Apple support website. Then, select Apple Repair and click the Start a Repair button. Select iPhone. Choose Repair and Physical Damage and you will see a topic list. 
Choose a related topic to continue. Then, follow the steps, and it will ask you to fill in some information. That's all tips. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.